to no, be No, you're not going to be very popular if you go around, watch out for the soda. Don't drink too much, guys. Um, it's official. Alcohol does contribute to a harsher version of stomach cancer for a lot of Asians, but also so does maybe kimchi. Yeah, there's a new study that just got published this week in the scientific journal Nature Genetics. And a uh, long story short, it says that East Asians, specifically in this order, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, have a higher risk of stomach cancer um, due to the lack of ability to process alcohol. This led to a bunch of internet comments also bringing up GI, gastrointestinal cancer due to dietary things with the Asian diet, more fermented, more grilled meats. So uh, yeah, of course, this is viral, Andrew. And you know Hot Pop Boys, we're breaking down everything silly to serious. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. All right, everybody, we got to get into this, David, because... A lot of people are accusing kimchi of also being part of the problem. But first, let's focus on alcohol. Um, I mean, obviously, a lot of people have already known that alcohol is not doesn't bode well with a lot of Asians. Not all Asians, but if you turn very red, you probably shouldn't be drinking a lot. Right, because in Asian stomach, there's not a high volume of the amino acid that breaks down acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde means the alcohol stays in your stomach longer. Mm -hmm. It's affecting everything. And that ultimately, Andrew, according to the new research, can lead to the worst probable case scenario, which is stomach cancer now and it also pointed out and there's a lot of studies to show that koreans and even korean americans of the asian groups they do suffer from the highest risk of like stomach cancer and a lot of people are saying that's due in part because they eat so many fermented foods like kimchi it's very salty a lot of fermented fish and they drink a lot Right. And they eat a lot of charred Korean barbecue food. Yeah, I actually think that all Asians have dietary patterns that are like somewhat similar. But obviously, the article did point out Koreans as possibly the ones with the highest rates of alcohol consumption, smoking, of uh, uh, flame grilled meats. But but this isn't the worst thing, right? To hear? No, no, no. It's not the worst thing. I think it sounds bad immediately, and obviously, obviously that's the nature of media, right? It sounds bad off the rip when you read the headline. Yeah, we're doing However, the science. It doesn't mean that Japan. Korea and to a lesser extent China don't still have very long life expectancies in comparison mm. with the rest of the world. It's just for these specific ailments of stomach cancer and GI cancer due to their lifestyle. For example, in the West, Andrew, there's much more higher chance of obesity, specifically like America or Mexico, right? That is going to lead more to uh, heart failure, heart attacks, strokes, or liver failure. So oh. it, it basically, long story short, the lifestyle of each culture and the flow, the daily flow, just leads to different issues if unchecked and untreated. So are you saying that I can still eat Korean barbecue and drink soju and then do smoke afterwards? You can, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't mean, it just means if you want to look out for two different types of cancers, specifically right. they're related to the Asian lifestyle, stomach and GI. All right, everybody, let's get into the comments, David. What's the first comment here? Somebody said, uh, yeah, if you just take a look at the way people are living, you got open grade, open flame grilled meats. You've got a lot of alcohol. A lot of Asian proteins uh, are prepared with nitrites, whether that's salt, MSG. Um, you know, Cantonese people eat a lot of uh, ham yu, which is uh, salted fish, mm. fried dace. You know, the, the parents got to stay away from fried dace because there's a lot of fermented black beans and heavy sodium and heavy MSG you know, in the fried dace can. I'm thinking about Southeast Asian food. Did they mention fish sauce? Ooh. Like nook mom in any of this? Maybe yeah. not. May, maybe that's not a significant amount because most people, they just use it as a dip. They're not really like drinking yeah. fermented like fish Like I said, sauce. I think this applies to all Asians, but specifically East Asians because of the use of fermented soybean, mm. which is for soy sauces. Uh, in Korea, they have what? Tenjang, Samjang. Yeah. These are like fermented soybeans that are, are not cooked. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine, and I think we've all done it, and it's really fun. Like, you go to Korean barbecue, you're eating grilled meats, you're like, oh, I like it crispy. Nah, man, grill it up. I want that crispy pork. I want it a little bit burnt. And then you dip it in the samjang, and then you take a shot Ooh. of soju, and then you're eating kimchi. Oh, you hitting it with the combo and combo. And then, after the kimchi, you go outside, and you're like, oh, man, let's take a smoke or a vape. And you're right. just like... Same it's, with it's yakiniku too. It also has to do with the way the meats are prepared. Yeah. When you slice the meats thinly, that means there's more surface area to hit hit the open flame. When wow. it hits the open flame, that means there's more uh, essentially yeah. radius for uh, carcinogens because the, 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 the meat pieces are just cut thinner. Yeah, but it is fun. It's and delicious. <laughs> I like to do it. Somebody said... Um, Kimchi, alcohol, grilled meats, fried chicken, smoking. I'm telling you, living in South Korea is fun, but I have a feeling like Korean men are just YOLOing through life. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like it's South Korea, like if you're in Seoul, like also the possible threat of imminent war with North Korea is also maybe part of it. You're just like, yo, 
I just want to like live how I want to live. No, I think that honestly, which I can understand. I, I think that honestly, like if you really think about it, most older Asian men, Andrew, even if they know about this thing, we're talking about grilled meats. We're talking about proteins pre uh, prepared with nitrites. Right. They're not shifting. Yeah. They're not no. changing. Like the, these are part of their culture. These are the things that make them who they uh, feel like they are, what they identify with. Maybe they could cut down the frequency that they indulge in this stuff, but they're not cutting it out. Dude. I mean, listen, man, if you work hard, you just kind of want to live how you want to live. And also, like we said, like these things, they do take a long time to develop over time. It's not like you just eat it yeah. one time or two times and you get sick. Um, yeah, because actually South Korea, Japan, Spain, Italy, these countries actually have very long life expectancy rates. They also actually have very high um, low heart disease, but also high stomach and gastro right. issues. Be well, because you kind of have to live on the earth long enough to develop cancer because it, it takes a lot of time. So right. in a way, you live long, you might get cancer, but you're living longer than someone else with heart disease. So I, it's and all by a the way, you guys, we're not talking about saying that you will get cancer. We're just saying like there's a probability yeah. risk based on lifestyle factors that are more prevalent in certain cultures mm -hmm. and, and countries than others. All right, so somebody else also commented like, oh my gosh, this sucks. So how do I get screened for this? And then I was actually messaging our GI doctor friend, Johnny K, and this is what he said. And I can quote him on this. He said, uh, definitely get your colonoscopy at the latest at 45. And if your family has any sort of colon issue or stomach issues in your family, you got to get checked up by 40. And he also said, uh, this is what the doctor said. He said that to me, there is no true consensus on whether kimchi is really good or bad for you. But ultimately, it's just good to eat a diet full of high antioxidants. And you know what he told me, Andrew? He said it's completely safe to take Pepto-Bismol just in the morning. Just before you eat anything, whether you're going to eat mala tong or Sichuan stuff yeah. that day or not, just take it. That You mean prepare for it. Yeah, just uh, coat your stomach with the pink bismol. Dr. Johnny K. Okay. Somebody says, uh, you know, at least you know, when you're, you know when you're supposed to stop drinking when you're Asian and you have the Asian flush because your body is going to light up and your face is going to light up like a red <laughs> stop sign. I'm not going to lie, guys. If you break out in hives after a beer... You should not drink very much. Yeah. Now, there are ways to build up your tolerance slowly and in like a controlled manner, but definitely because Asians really like to binge drink, mm. uh, it's pretty bad. It, Asians it not, are, it's not man. good. It's not good. It's so funny because uh, when you talk to people about drinking with their Asian friends, they're always like, yo, man, my Asian friends always want to get wasted off of liquor. Because I guess what you think of, uh, I guess prototypically, maybe if you're thinking about a white guy, they're more, they're just pounding beers. Yeah. But they're not necessarily shots, 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 shots. Yes. I, and I think that might be part of like the value proposition of binge drinking where it's like cheaper and then you get drunk faster where it's like, why would I want to buy a cocktail at dinner and it costs another $18? I will just spend the 18 on the liquor store and then get drunk. Also, I think Asians generally, when it comes to beers, they're not as much a beer mixologist. You know how like white people are really into like IPAs and the, the Guinnesses mm. and the things like that and picking out their favorite microbreweries. Definitely different in Asian yeah. society. Uh, people are like, no, I don't want the volume. It's too many drinks in the stomach. I feel yeah, broken. I just want the shots, you know, the high alcohol volume. And I, and I do think that I believe in this because ultimately Asians, Andrew, they, they, they're really concerned about looking fat. Mm. Asians do not want to look fat, but you cannot see what the condition of your stomach or your intestines is from the outside. <laughs> that's, that is because Asians are so shallow. They are so image centric. They don't care about what's on the inside. You know, I will eat some, a lot of smoked meats and smoked cigs, but I will not get fat. I will work out. Got to be ripped. <laughs> uh, why does it feel so good for Asians to do these things? And even though they probably know that these were not healthy, I don't think anybody since the beginning of smoking has ever thought that smoking was healthy, maybe except for the first five years when they were like putting that propaganda out there. But I mean, I, I think there's just something about that flow that a lot of Asians just can't get away from, right? Man, and mean, obviously, like we said, there's different rates in every culture, but all cultures do it. I mean, yeah, all different cultures grill meats, by the way, obviously. But obviously, we're only looking at Korean barbecue because it's so common. And you can easily char your meat because you're cooking it. Right. You get to cook your meat, so you get to decide how crispy it is. On the takeaway side, Andrew, do you think it has to do with how you view life? Because some people, more than others, believe like that Drake quote, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. 
<laughs> that's sort of the YOLO aspect of it, right? Yeah, I think and, it's I think it's super American. Obviously, listen, if you're like come from a tough background, maybe you came from war, maybe you saw a lot of stress growing up, you saw had some trouble, or you just feel like you work for Viet American no. friends, Andrew. Even though Vietnam itself as a country in Asia has very low uh, per person consumption rates of alcohol, mm -hmm. my Viet American friends, they go hard. Yeah, Heineken, Henny, they, they dude. I think Ready? that. Yeah, I think it does kind of depend on where you come from, how you view life. I mean, I think a lot of people, they want to live like long and slow, like a tortoise. Slow burn. Yeah. And then there's people who want to be the hair. Is it kind of like sports cars where sports cars are amazing when you get them? But if you know, if you've ever had a BMW or a high power car, they break down more often and they take a lot more maintenance than like Camrys or like even slower Japanese cars I, that run forever. I mean, you already know, like for most of the Eastern culture, it's not about like, living a crazy, super fast, like supercharged, what is it, like a, on the, uh, like a speedway life. At you least know, on it's the more, traditional side, yeah, it's not. But, but it's I very think, American to be like, yo, if I'm not living like the best life, if I'm not Richard Branson and I'm not skydiving when I'm 65 and rock climbing. Well, you're, you're saying it's Dan Bilzerian lifestyle or bust is very American. Yeah, that's why we uh, do Tai Chi. Yeah, I think uh, it's pros and cons. Like I said, I think there's a lot of modern situations that Asians have gone through that have sort of shifted their patterns from like, you know, the old wise man doing Buddhist meditation on the mountain type David, vibe. David, there's a lot of educated Asians out there. A lot of Asians in the medical field. Are Asians changing their behavior once this is known? Oh, are yeah, they going to switch I'm it not up? Gonna lie. I don't want to out any friends, but I still know some people who do that stuff who still do bad things too, or like quote unquote, you know, fun vices. What do you mean? No, people in the medical oh, field yeah. they still indulge in the vices. Yeah, just too. because you know they it. They just doesn't know mean the compounds that compose those vices. Anyway, Andrew, do you think Asians can move to more steamed and boiled foods? Uh, because obviously the open flame grilled meats, it creates the carcinogens, red meat. Red meat has more things that affect the stomach and the gastrointestinal well, thing. You know what hurt me? And I think the truth is there's a lot of great Asian sauces and foods and dishes that require a lot of fermented soybean, fermented fish paste. There's a lot of recipes, right? Lot, Traditional I mean, soy, recipes from like 100 years ago. Soy sauce itself is high in sodium and it's made out of fermented soybean. So I can't say soy sauce is great for you, right. but you're just not supposed to drink it, right? So ultimately, like there's a lot of dishes that I think like maybe people might have to cut back a little bit, especially in when in your older years, especially in your what older years. What about more chicken dishes? Like, uh, I know these are high in salt sometimes, but the chicken aspect, I mean, you just cut it where you can. Dokjim is a really good Korean chicken dish that very few people eat in America that I've seen. Oyakudon is a steamed chicken egg dish from Japan. Huang Manji, Andrew, you know I'm a big fan. Yeah, Braised. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is salty, though. Chicken pho with the wide noodle. Incredible from Hanoi. Khao Moon Gai from mm. Thailand, which is their version of Hainan chicken. Chicken hot pot is gaining in popularity, specifically the Chinese coconut Hainan style? I, I don't know, man. I think the world is going chicken, man. Do you think that more Asian Americans need to start their own versions of chains like Sweet Greens, Dig In La, Botanist, Honey Brains? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know there's I, some I, more like fast, casual, healthy ones using Asian influenced flavors. I think those are going to increase. But you do need a little bit of salt and a little bit of fermented sauce here and there, you know, for the flavor. And I think you can. But yeah, I just think like uh, mixing it in with, you know, the current modern diet and all the current knowledge that we have, like we have all the knowledge at our fingertips. Would it be weird to know all this and not take it into consideration at all? Maybe because we are just trying to be, hang on to what little identity we have of ourselves. You know, when you come to America, you tend to lose your culture. Yeah. But to keep your culture, sometimes you have to keep the sauces. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you go up to the people in K-Town in LA or New York and tell them, watch out for these things while they're smoking on the corner of the street. It, it's not going to mean much. To no, be you're not going to be very popular if you go around, watch out for the soda. Don't drink too much, guys. Um, Does this make Asian guys feel left out at all? Because, I mean, maybe for, I mean, Asian people in general, because, you know, I guess they're not as good as processing the alcohol. In some cultures, processing alcohol at a high rate and being able to drink a lot is a, is a mark of manliness. Yeah. I mean, it would kind of suck to be like, yeah, I can't drink alcohol or eat too much kimchi. And then people are going to be like, what? Yeah. I so, remember one time I knew this, I had a Latino friend in college named Marie Sandro. Yeah. And he came up to me one time. He's like, Hey man, I heard something about you. And then I was just like, what did you know? Cause I was, you know, I wasn't really a crazy guy. So I was like, what did you possibly hear about me? He goes, yeah, man, I heard you can't really drink that much. Mm. And I remember he said it like it was like a TMZ bomb. He's like, I because got Because from the community he was from. And I remember just going, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't. I'm kind of like, I'm trying to back you up, man. But like <laughs> the, the, the streets are talking. 
You turn and, uh, red, fool. I was just coming through like a dorky Asian. Yeah, the streets are correct. <laughs> the, the rumors are factual. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Um, do you think Asians should drink less? Should we be more mindful? Should you talk to your parents about open flame grilled meats, fermented things, salty things, red meat? Well, I don't know. Let us know. Is this going to change your behavior? And is the verdict out on kimchi or not? There are some studies. I'll link them. I'll pop up some screenshots. But I also think it depends on how you do the study. So I, I guess time will tell. But ultimately, stay away from too smoky of food. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, I heard, Andrew, that there is a trend away from alcohol. The mocktails industry is exploding. And of course, Andrew, something like Liquid Death that was this, uh, designed to almost feel like beer mm. in an alcoholic setting, but it's not. I don't know. The valuations are going crazy. It's not a brand plug. Not a brand plug. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. You know the Hot Pot Boys. Hit that like button. Check out other episodes. And until next time, we out. Peace.